In this video, I will show you how quickly and easily you can create and edit pages and contents with Typo3. This website is our starting point. We want to add a new page after the page interfaces. Log in by adding slash Typo3 to the domain and entering your username and password. Here you can see the so-called backend, the administration view of Typo3. Depending on the Typo3 version in use, allowed user settings and various settings for the display, it can look quite differently. Our website here is set up suitably for an editor who manages images as well as other files, in addition to editing pages and contents. Initially you can see the menu in the left area. When opening the backend, the module page in the menu web is chosen by default. The page tree shows the pages and subpages of the website in a tree structure. As long as you work in one of the modules Page, View or List, the page tree is shown in the middle section. In order to see the contents of the page interfaces, I click on the name of the page. Hereupon, all content elements this page contains appear in the working surface in the right section. In order to customize the space in the working surface according to your needs, you can hide and unhide the descriptions by clicking on the first icon in the top left corner. The page tree can also be hidden and unhidden by clicking on the second icon in the top left corner. If the few columns is chosen, in the module page all content elements are displayed according to their position in the website layout. For example, here you can see two content elements in the column normal and two in the column right. The column left is still empty. We have set up this website so that the page navigation is included automatically via TypoScript. Below the editor can add short contents. Depending on the design, a web page can have different columns or areas to structure the content. On the single content elements you can find, this is standard for all types of records in Typo3, icons whose functions are almost always explained by tooltips, like for example Edit or Hide, and further editing options in the context menu that opens if you click with the left mouse button on the icon of the respective content element. Like I said, we want to create a new page after the page interfaces. Click on the icon for a new page and drag the icon for standard using the left mouse button underneath the page interfaces. Enter a page title and confirm with enter. Next you create a content element on this page. Choose the page in the page tree and click in the column Normal Create New Content Element. In order to be able to insert text and images, select the type Text and Images. Type in a header and insert your text in the field Text. To make it easy, I will insert a text from the clipboard. For the last three lines to become a proper list, mark them and click Bulleted List. To include an image from your local computer, go to the tab Images and click Add Image. First, you open the folder in which the image will be stored. Then you scroll to the bottom and click Browse. Choose the image and click Upload Files. To place the image into the content element, click on its file name. If you want to insert a caption, just type it into the intended field. The create checkbox for set element specific value shows that no metadata are available that would define different values, and thus the field remains empty for this image if you do not insert anything. This would work the same way for title and alternative text as well. For further settings, scroll down to Media Adjustments, with Width of each element 
The image appears with a width of 200 pixels and in text right, so I can leave the default setting here unchanged. To enable full size view of the image, activate Enlarge on click. Have a look at the page. Save and view page. You have already created your first content in Typo 3. As expected, the page navigation has been inserted automatically in the left column and my content is displayed in the column normal. If I click on the image, usually a pop-up window would open, showing a larger view of the image. In my case though, a new tab opens, as the operating system macOS prefers this when working with full screen mode. To make the new page visible for visitors of the website, I go back to the back end. Click with the left mouse button on the icon of the new page and can enable it. After updating with F5 in the front end, the new page is displayed the way people worldwide can see it now. Now I want to add a link to an existing content element on the page RTE. To open the content element, setting links in the RTE, I click on Edit. In order to set a link, first you have to mark the word, and then you can click on Insert Link. Different options are displayed, and one can set a link either on a page, file, an external URL, or email address. I want to choose a page of my website via the page tree. If you click on the name of the page, the link will be set directly on the page. Moreover, by clicking on the arrow in front of the name of the page, you can link a specific content element on that page. But initially I enter the title Important Aspects of Search Engine Optimization and then click on the content element Search Engine Optimization. Save and close. Let us go to the front end and check our changes after updating with F5. The title of the link shows up as tooltip and leads me to the specific content element. After I have done all changes on my website, I can go back to the back end and log out.